purpose in my life. I do this with my own children and now I, I'm connected to children that now belong to me. There's such a need in education, there's such a void without arts education where children are not being connected to their creativity. They're not being given their self-esteem, their voice. And the character education of discipline and all the things that go along with that. I have a five-year-old on stage and, and I told her that I said, how old are you? She said, five. I said, that's old enough to pay attention. Yes, ma'am. I mean, this is great. At the end of the day, when they, if they mess up too much, I said, go home and clean up your room and tell your parents, I said, <laughs> you know, but it's a wonderful world. Arts needs to be in public schools. I learned about music and dance in public school. And now our children have very little opportunity and we can't let the arts become privatized. We must not, because then it becomes elitist and then it's, it, it's not inclusive. This is Luke21.com and we are here now with Academy Award winner, Emmy Award winning, all time legend, I would say seven decades in this business. I have to find out what his secret is right now. Why don't you tell us? Conscious contact with God, baby. A conscious contact with God. When I let him run things, my grandmama said, everything's all right. And when I forget, everything is not. <laughs> That's right. He's all out. I, can't, I ain't running nothing. He is. And if I fit in and I'll be obedient to it, he'll, he'll call me when he's ready, but he's not ready. You know. So I'm a mentor to, to the young. And I'm, I'm, uh, my life has been extended. There you go. We can see Very uh, comfortable, healthier than I've ever been in many years. I did the uh, the audio book of Twelve Years a Slave, and with through the foundation, I did a documentary down in, in Trunkey, Louisiana, where the original Twelve Years a Slave took place. And so we did a documentary for educational television, where the uh, the descendant of those slave owners was there, the mayor, and so it was pretty informative. It'll be out in about 20 days. Well, we'll be looking for it. Guys, for Loop21.com, you have it right here with Mr. Lewis Gossett, Jr. What would you tell a young person that's now trying to get into the entertainment industry to have a legacy such as the one that you've created? Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Just like... Uh, the, the good witch and the whiz. <laughs> Believe in yourself and you know God will do the rest. Yes. You know and and also you know keep keep uh, filling the you know filling the pot you know in other words keep, go to school uh, if you want if you're a singer just make sure you're the best singer. Uh, you know study know, how, know learn how to take care of your voice if you want to dance which you nowadays you see in all the videos a lot there's a lot of dancing going on. You just don't stand there anymore. So, you know, go and study dance and go to, go to Debbie's Academy. Hey guys, this is a Loop21.com exclusive. Well, I'm an ex-Dada mom. My girls grew up here. So I participated, and Debbie's been my friend for years, so even now my girls have graduated out, I wouldn't think of missing a gala. Do you think I want to hear Debbie's mouth, really? No. No, I write that check and I show up. <laughs> and I just want you to tell the viewers what it means to have the longevity that you have had well, in this business. I stopped tearing up because now i got to fight back my tears. It's so sweet. Um, you know, I just say that you just don't stop. You know, I end my radio show, my blog talk radio show that I've been doing over a year. I end it by saying, what well, don't kill you, make you stronger. And until then, just keep it moving. You're 
always smiling and I think everybody realizes what an honor it is just to be in your presence because you have such positive energy. Oh, thank you so much. I mean, you really make me feel good saying that. I mean, I went to court this morning and it was 19 degrees in Detroit and I got on the plane and came directly here to support my schoolmate, Debbie Allen. I love what she's doing. I love this. I come every year and I'm just so glad to see so many people supporting her and the good things that are happening because of her. up dancing. I grew up in acting class and, and modeling. My mother was very interested in not having an idle child. She felt like that was the key to not going through teen pregnancy. <laughs> she was concerned. That was it. So, um, and like you said, I went to high school for the performing and visual arts in Houston and originally it, it wasn't my choice. I thought I should go on to, you know, just a regular high school with all my friends, be a cheerleader or something like that. And my mom was like, no, I don't think that's right for you. You need to audition for this school. And within two weeks I knew that it, it, it was going to change my life. What it was like being on Dancing with the Stars? It's a whirlwind. It is a whirlwind. You can't even imagine. It's, it's, I've, I've worked on Broadway. I've done soap. All things that are, are very, very difficult to do and require a lot of your time. That was the most difficult thing that I have ever done. Well, I'm, I'm here for, for Miss Allen, and I, anything she does, I am always with her 100%, and I, I, will, I will back up whatever she does because she's always backed up me in my career, and she has, she has instilled in me everything. I mean, as far as work ethic and discipline and, and, and so much of what I know in, in the arts. And for her to have given me a lot of those tools, you know, I wouldn't be where I am today if I wasn't given those tools and it's just that's it's just as important for me to continue to to help her to continue to help other young students. Well, to me the arts is the closest you can come to being godlike, to be creative. We always talk about the creator, created in 7 days, how was the earth created? And if you can connect to your creativity, then you are being very godlike and I uh, tell them that my dance studio is my church and that this is a very spiritual place for me and it's holy and I know that I am doing God's work. Hey guys, this has been Loop21.com on location at the Debbie Allen Dance Academy Gala. We'll see you next time.